So we finally figured a way to install the brace properly. While we were looking at the previous installation, we were trying to figure out if the mounting points that we had selected were strong enough in the chassis. And we noticed a very similar three dot mount mounting point on the chassis, which resembled the mount point on the brace. So after we did some more digging with Arush and at Autopsych, he ripped apart his interiors to figure out if the mounting point exists and voila, it does. It's right there, the three dot mounting point. So the next step, I roughly located the mounting point in my car, cut up the carpet slightly and saw if the mount fit and guess what, it did. So once we figured out the mount fits in the holes properly, we put the mount in place, put a rough cutting template around the mount and cut the carpet up. Then we locked the mount in place and we put the brace into the mount the way it's supposed to be. That really is how it's supposed to be done. Figure out a way to put this brace in the right place where it should go. Now, what we don't didn't know earlier was that this mount ideally in the calls goes over this one, and this is removable. But in the Skoda, this is actually welded on, so you can't use this. However, behind this carpet is the exact same mounting point, the two notches and three and the holes which you can actually mount this to so it actually fits fully well inside this mount so what we need to do basically is use a knife or something yeah, I use a box cutter find that hole screw this in place and cut the surrounding part of it so you get the map racing line has a template for the Leon Cupra but this is Octavia and the Cupra template didn't work, so I put the Cupra template. I'll just show you. There's the Cupra template, it's supposed to go over here, and this is the right hand template, so it's supposed to be over here. But in the Octavia, it's actually a lot more inside. I have done one side, okay. So, here, this I had this carpet that I had to cut. Now, if I use the template that Racing Line gave, which basically says the left hand side turn it around it should be somewhere around here but it's not it's actually much more inside so if I use this template on my side over here I should cut a little bit more inside so yeah let's see how that works ideally it starts by drilling a hole use this template itself as a rough guiding so use this tape the right hand side template. I'm assuming let's actually use the mount also since we have the screw. So this is the point where it should About where the hole should be. So we will build our first hole around here. So we see if we can. That's my first hole. I use a That's where it is. Next part is a little annoying. Cut the carpet over here. Make a small keeping hole.
So the way this is designed to work is you have two notches on the back over here and one hole over here and those two notches go into the chassis right there. So this the notches hold it in place and the screw tightens it on. And this is a pretty thick cross member so it can take the load unlike the where, where I mounted it earlier. And this cross member is actually the entire piece from here is where this is where the strut top sits so it's not acting as a strut brace more of a chassis brace but it also does reinforce the strut a little bit so let's put it in it's pretty simple you know this thing just if i go this this thing just slides into place over here And voila, we have a solid mounting point. Okay, so let's tighten this down. No movement here. The way to do this is actually the other way around. So, this in place and this should align more or less like that. Brace is in place. Now let's put in the screw. Bit of alignment, see. Take an allen and just pop it in place. And the medium size one. Huh? So after a lot of wrestling, the bar is finally in, mounted where it should be. The mounts are actually hidden behind the carpet. These are the same mounts as the bar is designed for. So yeah, we have tensioned the bar a little bit. And now it's actually doing what it's supposed to properly. Now let's go for a drive and check out how she drives. Okay, initial, initial impression. Racing line chassis bracelets. See, straight away you can feel the steering a bit more responsive. I mean, the car. See, yep. The steering is. The chassis is following the steering a bit, a bit better. So. and it's coming around quite a bit faster see wow that is an improvement i have traction control all the way off so this gives me the best gauge of how effective this is and at least from what i can feel right now it's quite effective i mean you can really feel a difference in the way the car turns Like the chassis is more tight I'm not able to find the right words to describe it but the chassis is definitely stiffer you can feel the chassis work around the corner rather than just slop around it as the hatch would be ideally now, there are a lot of people who would claim this brace doesn't work but racing line has done their research and they are very high in the 
did R&D work and I can tell you very clearly that this definitely has an effect. It wasn't working to the full effect the way I had installed it earlier but with the proper mounting brackets, proper mounting points, there is a definite improvement in the way the chassis is responding. The brace has actually done a very very good job. So there is a bit of a twisty road ahead. So let me try to yeah. Let me try to get to that place and then I try to push it a little bit more. Yeah. Oh my God! This is. I mean, I don't even need to push it. I can instantly feel the chassis turn. You know the. Earlier there was a hint of a lag in which you would turn the steering wheel and the chassis would then respond as an honest lag to it. Now that lag is completely gone. There is no lag. in the understeer even more on way to put sway bars on this car that will really really show the right effect of this so there yes yeah yeah this is brilliant I mean, the mqb chassis anyway is quite a bit stiffer than the old a7 octavia chassis or the laura little bit better.